The overall goal of this procedure is to study the transport of lipid-soluble molecules by the intestine. This is accomplished by first placing differentiated KCO2 cells in the permeable membrane insert. Next, the KCO2 cells are incubated with a lipid mixture and lipoprotein secretion is stimulated. Then, the lipoproteins are isolated by using sodium chloride density gradient ultracentrifugation. Finally, the isolated lipoproteins are negatively stained with phosphotungstic acid. Ultimately, particle size analysis is used to show the relative abundance of chylomicrons to very low density lipoproteins. Though this method can provide insight into the transport of dietary lipids by the intestine, it can also be applied to other systems, such as determining the bioavailability of oral acrylic drugs. After implementing gene overexpression and monitoring according to the text protocol, maintain the KCO2 cells that sustain the gene overexpression. Using cells that have reached 50 to 70% confluence, split the cells 1 to 6 by adding 3 milliliters of 0.05% trypsin 0.53 millimolar EDTA and incubating at 37 degrees Celsius until the cells have detached. Gently pipette the cells several times to avoid clumping. Then, after transferring 0.5 milliliters of the cells to the apical or upper chamber of a permeable membrane insert containing 10 milliliters of pre-warmed growth medium, add 10 milliliters of warm growth medium to the lower basolateral chamber. Gently shake the dishes several times in a forward and backward motion.